Hey guys, Alexander here, and in this video I will be introducing you to the geometric distribution, its properties, and I'll be giving you some examples of questions that you might encounter in your studies of statistics. So if we have a sequence of independent, identically distributed Bernoulli trials with a probability of success P, and you're interested in counting the number of trials until your first success, and we denote this as the random variable x, then x is said to be distributed geometrically with a success probability p. Now before I get to writing down the CDF or the PMF, what is the geometric distribution? What do we use it for? If we have each outcome, so if we have a set of experiments, okay, or a set of trials, and each of these experiments can either be a success with a probability of P or a failure with a probability of one minus P. So each trial is a Bernoulli trial, okay? So if we have a set of experiments with each trial being a Bernoulli trial, so each trial has the, and they're identically and independently distributed, each trial has the same success probability, then the number of trials until we observe our first success will be will follow a geometric distribution with the probability p. So the example I want you to have in mind is we flip a coin. So the coin can be heads or it can be tails. And we keep flipping this coin until we observe our first head. Then the number of trials, so the number of flips till the first head will follow the geometric distribution. So that's the first thing we want to focus on. We want to, I want you to have, always have the analogy of the coin flip in your mind. So we've covered the Bernoulli distribution before, with, with, which is essentially a single flip of a coin with a success probability of P and a failure probability of one minus P or Q. We've covered the binomial distribution that counts the number of successes in a certain number of trials. Usually we denote that as N, the number of heads that we observe in N trials. Well, the geometric distribution's job, if you will, is it counts the number of trials until we observe our first head in, the, in our consecutive flips, okay? So, if each trial is independent and identically distributed as a Bernoulli random variable with a success probability of P, and you count the number of trials till you observe your first success, then that, uh, the, that random variable will follow the geometric distribution. The probability mass function for the geometric distribution is P times one minus P to the power X minus one, and it's valid for the support of x equal to 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. Okay? Remember your support. Never forget your support. Because you will lose marks if you don't write it down or if you make an even bigger mistake and forget what the support of your distribution is and you use it for, va for values for which it is not valid. Okay, the CDF is given by one minus one minus P to the power of X, and it also has the same support over here. The expected value of X is one over P. The variance of X is one minus P over P squared. And lastly, the moment generating function is given by P E to the T over one minus one minus P times E to the T, and it's valid for T is less than negative ln of P. So these are the characteristics of the geometric distribution. Another one that I'll cover, cover in another video is the memoryless property. And that is an important property of the geometric distribution as well as the exponential distribution. But I'll get to that in a later video. For this video, what I want you to know and to associate in your head is the idea, is the tie and the relationship between the Bernoulli distribution and the geometric distribution. And the analogy of flipping a, set, a coin a certain number of times until you observe the first head. That's what I want you to take away from this video. 
So let's look at some examples. In a sequence of coin flips, these should be independent coin flips, be careful, independent coin flips, until your first heads appears, let x be a random variable the number of, that represents the number of throws until your first head is flipped for a fair coin. Okay. Fair coin. The idea of fair is equivalent to the idea of you having an equal chance of succeeding and failing. Okay. So each outcome is equally likely. In this case, you can have a heads with probability of a half, or you can have tails with probability of half. So if that's the case, then x will be distributed geometrically with a parameter p equal to a half or 0 0.5. What's the probability of getting ahead on the fifth throw? throw? Well, that's going to be p of x. The probability that the, the random variable x is equal to 5 is p times 1 minus p to the power of x minus 1. Because we need to have one success, one head, and four tails to have it. And we ha need to have the head being on the fifth throw. So that's our p times 1 minus p to the power x minus 1. And that will give us this answer of 1 over 32. What is the expected number of throws until you see your first heads? Well, if we know that the expected value of x is equal to 1 over p. And p is equal to 0 0.5. So we know that the expected number of throws until we observe our first head is simply going to be 1 over 0 0.5, which is equal to 2. I should have rather written it as 1 over 1 over 2 instead, which gives 2. So that's that for the introduction of the geometric random variable. Always remember that if you are writing a test and you are doing and you're covering material about discrete distributions, then sit there and think, what, what do I have on me? What do I have on me that can help? What can assist me? Well, most likely you have your wallet with you. And in your wallet, you should have a coin. So always think of coin flips when you are doing discrete distributions. Okay? So because a coin flip analogy can be used for the for the Bernoulli, for the binomial, for the geometric, for the negative binomial. So it's something so simple, but it has so much uh, association with all of the discrete distributions that you sh typically will see in your first encounter with probability theory or statistics courses. Okay? So keep in mind that you should always have a coin in your pocket so that you will do good in your when you are thinking about discrete distributions. So that's that for the geometric random variables introduction. I hope this video has given you sufficient motivation to, to be interested in this distribution and to know memor memorize its characteristics and also understand where they um, come from. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and remember to click on the notification bell if you wish to have notifications of when I up upload. Boa Commander, out.